Today I'm bringing you a whole different type of review for a whole different type of hero. This is Calico number one. Stay tuned for my thoughts. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them, all for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome, and if you're not new here, Welcome back. Uh, before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell icon so that you're notified when I post new content. Now, I'm super excited. Today is a very special video. So this video marks the first time anyone has sent me anything to review on this channel for free. So shout out to the good folks at Sigma Comics who reached out to me when I only had like 300 subscribers on YouTube and were like, hey, we want to send you a copy of our new book. It's called The Calico. So this is it. Calico number one is written by H.H. German. Uh, let's see. Let's crack. Let's get into this. I don't remember who does the art. All right. So boom, boom, boom. Written by H.H. German. Uh, the letterer and artist is Javier Orabit, Orabic, and it's colored by Daniel Grimaldi uh, with a really cool cover by Garnabiel. Uh, so let's look at this. Look at this cover, right? So I, off the bat, you kind of get like Black Panther vibes, but then he's got this cool little crescent moon thing going on with the shape of a cat. Uh, so very cool looking hero. Um, a little bit about this project, this book. So this book, like I said, is brought to you by Sigma Comics. Thank you so much to Sigma Comics for sending this video or sending this book over for me to review. But this is the first book from Sigma Comics, and this was actually crowdfunded. It was funded, uh, raised over $10,000 on Indiegogo, and it's about, follows this new hero called The Calico. The Calico is a former boxer, uh, from the Bronx, New York, who never really won anything. No championships, no titles or anything, but he just has a thing against people preying on the weak. Now, the twist in this book is that Calico fights for animal rights, right? Like he's fighting people who mistreat animals. He's bringing them to justice. Uh, and the way he does it is kind of crazy. So I'm going to, I don't want to spoil the book. I don't want to spoil the book. I'll just tell you what I thought, right? So. First off, you hear about a book and, you know, you see the pitch being, hey, he's fighting for animal rights and all the proceeds from this book actually go to support the uh, support American Humane. Um, and so it's like, OK, so there you're buying this comic and it's really like you're basically donating to. OK, there we go. So he's they're donating to all sorts of uh animal rights organization. So in the front cover, you've got an ad for uh, American Humane. And then on the back cover, you've got an ad for the Animal Welfare Institute. And so each a percentage of all the sales from this book go towards supporting animal rights organizations. Um, so I'll say this. This book is like, think of the Punisher, but with an animal rights spin. So again, the Calico, which we are, we don't hear him referenced by his real name in issue one, um, but he's a, like I said, a former boxer from the Bronx, New York. Uh, this book is set in Brooklyn. He lives in Brooklyn now, um, and it opens up with him talking about how everything's a fight, and of course he's a fighter. He's a boxer. Uh, he's talking about how like you know everything in life is a fight, right? From infectious diseases to the way your nervous system works to then violence out in the real world. Everything is fighting each other. Um, and that's just kind of how he views life, a 24 seven fight. Um, and then we kind of get a, a glimpse at his, his daily routine. And you know what? I'm gonna switch up the view and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about because that's the best way to do this. All right, you guys. So I figured I could show you better than I can tell you. So we're going to look together at Calico number one. Um, so it's issue number one of an eight issue series. Um, and I mean, this cover, I, I think the guy's name is, what's his name? Gabriel? Garnabiel. Garnabiel. That cover is dope. So what I'll say is I actually recommend this book. Um, and you'll stick with me. I don't want to spoil the ending, so I won't, but we'll start off at the beginning, right? So, oh, by the way, if you are, if you love animals, 
the or if you this if you're buying this for your kids you probably shouldn't this isn't a kid's book and if you're watching this with your kids you should probably pause the video now and i'll leave timestamps when it's safe uh but anyway so we start off with a very sobering scene right we've got someone just abusing a dog i mean the dog is crying i didn't even know dogs cried but i mean you see the dog's eyes go white and this guy is just pounding this dog and it's like what and you see this is on video and here's our hero the calico he's watching it on a video screen he's upset he's crying too um and this issue is called safari kari right and i didn't even realize that the first time i read it but it's called safari kari and so we can kind of get in a, a glimpse of how it's going to end so there's language in this book uh this guy's clearly upset um this book is kind of printed on newsprint um so there's that but yeah so he's talking about the animal kingdom blah 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 <laughs> this is an actual gym i thought this was a um an ad for like it like for it's like something to move the plot forward because the guy's a boxer but no this is an actual gym in new york and i guess they paid for space in this book but anyway so we got some flashbacks to his childhood he's basically saying i'd never like bullies you know and so they got some flashbacks to his childhood and how he handled bullies then then we see him going through his daily routine how he trains for boxing even though he never won anything i, I will start i will say the artwork in this book is good i really like it i could probably have done without this scene but i get it he's a strong guy and, and that's the point right but yeah the artwork is solid um he's just in the <laughs> he's in the shower reflecting on what happened to this dog that's funny Right. So, yeah. So anyway, on it on its face, the concept of this book sounds like it might be corny at first. Right. And I was like, all right, it's a guy fighting for animal rights. How's this going to be? So here we, we get the first glimpse at this guy's super suit. Right. Where's my super suit? Uh, but anyway, uh, when you when you look at the cover, you get like a, a skin tight Black Panther type vibe. But then when you actually get inside the book, that's not what the suit looks like. The suit is, is way more Iron Man than Black Panther. So that's very cool. And he even mentions how like his suit is like worth millions of dollars and people like government agents would love to have it. So obviously that might be a plot point later, which would be cool for them to explore. Um, but anyway, so he gets into his suit. More flashbacks to the bullies. and. Here we enter, you know, we don't, we don't, he doesn't do anything about these dogs. The, the real plot of this book is him finding out about, uh, these, this family that basically hunts animals and, for trophies. And, you know, I've actually seen stuff on Twitter about this, uh, people, you know, going out and hunting and taking pictures with the stuff they kill. And it's honestly super inhumane and they do it to endangered species like lions and stuff like that. So anyway, this family, they go out on a safari. They kill this lioness in front of her cubs. Uh, they take the, uh, see, they got the trophies here and put them on their wall. And that really makes our hero upset. So he knocks on the door. He goes to their house to deliver some justice. Now, I'm not going to show it here and I'm not going to spoil it for you. But this is what hooked me on this book. The brand of justice this dude delivers is not for the weak of stomach. It's not for the faint of heart. Like, he's going in. Like, he's going all in. Um, so that's why I said, like, this is really more like the Punisher uh, meets, like, an Iron Man type character. And I'm excited about it. So, like I, the, like I said, the concept on his face was like, oh, I don't know if this is going to be for me. But when you see the way he handles uh, the victims or, or his victims, you know, they're actually the bad guys. But the way he handles these bad guys, this is not Batman. He's not tying them up and leaving them for the police. Right. He's like, look, you kill those animals. And now me, the animal is coming for you. And uh, it's it's graphic. It's really cool. It was unexpected. And I think because that ending was so unexpected, it really hooked me. So I'm super excited to get into the next issue. Um, so yeah, let me do this. I'll, uh, I'll change the view up and give you my final thoughts.
All right, you guys, so normally I would end those videos right there at the top down view, tell you to buy what you like and read what you buy and all that. But I just had to look you in the eyes one last time and say, you need to buy this book, right? Like, again, the premise, I know it sounded crazy to me, too, but the book was so satisfying the way it ended. I was super excited about and I can't wait to get issues two through eight because I, I don't think they're going to delay in getting straight to the action now that we see how this hero operates. So you should absolutely visit SigmaComics.com, click on order issues at the top of the page, and you can actually subscribe to the full series. The issues are only $2.99 each and you're getting free shipping. So super exciting you should definitely check those out or you can get the collector's edition which basically is just the same as the reader copy that i reviewed on the channel but it comes in a cardboard box as to prevent any damage in the mail so you're definitely going to want to do that option as well so yeah visit sigmacomics.com to order your issues it's a strong recommend from me and I want to say thanks again to the folks over at Sigma Comics for sending over this issue of Calico Number 1. Uh, so that's going to do it for me. I hope you saw something that was interesting to you. You should definitely check out this book. And if you've already checked it out, I want to hear in the comments how you thought it was. Um, but anyway, hopefully that's interesting to you. If not, it's cool. You can buy what you like. Make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.